Hey everyone, out in the garage today and I want to show you a project I'm going to be working on with a little bit of a twist. I was in Hobby Lobby and I found this beautiful, supposed to be looking like a bob wire and that's exactly what it looks like, hook. And I wanted to use this on my welcome post. I don't know if you've seen those, but I do a 2x4, uh, I'm sorry, 4x4 welcome post and I do a hook and we hang a welcome sign with it to go by the front door. Well, this made me think of Jesus dying on the cross and with Easter coming up, I thought this would be a really fun project. In the process, thinking of Jesus on the cross, I'm thinking they didn't probably go out and buy new lumber and I thought this would be a good time to do a scrap it together kind of project. With that in mind, I have two 4x4s that are not the same height, but they're too short for any other projects. My thought is, is to put one on top of the other, and it won't fit in my garage. I'll have to do it on the floor. I'm going to glue them together. For a base, I want to do three tier for a base. I'm going to cut this one to do a seven by seven. Then I want to do a six by six, which I have these, I think they're one by twos or something, and they're glued together. I don't know if you can see, but they're actually glued together right here. This was for a different project that did not work out. I'm going to take it, cut it to the six, and add it to the other side, and I'm going to make this a six by six. So I'd have a seven by seven, a six by six. This one I'm going to make a five by five. It's over 10 inches. I'll cut it in half again, move it, glue it, make it a square. That'd be my five by five. Then I'm going to put this on top. And the reason I want to make the base seven, six, five is because this is going to be way taller. This is actually going to end up being a five foot uh, welcome post. So I've got to glue that together. Then in the process, I have some boards that I'm going to do for a trim work and that's how it's going to be with a large hook at the top. Stick with me and let's put it together. Here I'm just using some wood glue and I'm going to be connecting the two 4x4s together. I did not realize at the time but one of them is not exactly straight so you're going to see it looks like it's leaning a little bit and it is. I actually had cut each end to try and straighten it out but one board was just enough that it just kept it leaning. This is me cutting down the board to make a 7x7 seven seven to be the bottom piece of the base. I wanted it that large to make sure that it gave a good stable base because the post is going to be so tall. From here I'm just going to cut the other two boards down to the sizes and prepare to glue them together. This is where the boards I just cut, I am now gluing them together so I can make my five and six inch part of the base.
Later that night, all the boards had dried, everything was good. Instead of painting it all, I decided to go ahead and attach them with my wood glue, let them dry, and then I can start the paint process. This is the final product that you're thinking, I missed some steps on you, and I did, I'm sorry. But as I got to going with the project, I got to trying different things, and the plan kind of changed along the way. I was not initially going to put a topper on this one after I had the bottom. I really loved it, and I kept going. So this is the final product, and one of the little tricks I did is, again, nothing is cut perfect. Everything is imperfect, and that was the kind of the idea with it. But this is where the two four by fours were joined. And to cover up the seam, I thought I would do a little trim work that matches the top and the bottom trim work. I really love how this hook turned out. Cute little welcome sign. I also have the hook on the side that you could do either a plant, a reef, or a lantern, or whatever it is you wanted to do. Just kind of gives you a few different ideas. But uh, this is my new welcome post. And Hopefully I'll make the next one a little bit better. I hope you enjoyed it. And as Marina would say, there's a bell to click, to like, to follow, to share. Subscribe. Subscribe. <laughs> she has to keep me straight. So thank you for joining me on this journey and I will see you next time.